You cannot overcome stuttering if you're addicted to your phone. You can't. If you're addicted to your phone, if you're addicted to social media, to YouTube, to Instagram, to TikTok, to video games, to porn, to alcohol, to marijuana, to subs to substance that you're abusing, to anything you're distracting yourself from feeling the emotions you're feeling. Let me repeat that again. You cannot overcome, it's impossible to overcome stuttering if you're addicted to your phone, to social media, and to everything I just mentioned. Now, I know this sounds like a very bold statement, and I could be wrong. Like, <laughs> there's fucking no such, no such thing as correct it's all your own beliefs right but this is my belief from me overcoming my stutter and helping around 60 people in the last two and a half years overcome their stutter too holy shit like i have helped people overcome their stutter and within two weeks they're like holy like i've overcome my stutter i feel it internally inside of me within two weeks but I've also helped people overcome their stutter. It took them a month and then a month went by after that and it's like they had the worst speech of their life. And I've also just started help, started helping people who stutter. From the very get-go, it was like very, 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 very challenging to see any progress in them. I've had the range of people. And there's some commonalities like there's a reason why i'm tell i'm telling you this is because there's commonalities among the people who do very do very well in overcoming their, their stutter and the people who constantly constantly struggle and have constant i don't like the word relapses but for the lack of a better word relapse for the people that re, for the people that relapse and the people that find it very hard to see progress i see a commonality in all of them so let's just be clear to overcome your stutter you must have discipline and consistency you also must have self-belief inside of yourself that you can overcome your stutter but also the third thing is you must not be addicted to your phone or to any outlet of distraction such as porn, such as video games, such as social media, such as Netflix, all of that shit. And there's three main reasons why you cannot overcome stuttering if you're addicted to these high dopamine, um, these high dopamine external sources. And I'm gonna break down here so that you, hopefully after this, you have a much better understanding of how to overcome your stutter, why you're continuing to stutter, and why you should go on a dopamine detox, maybe not fully right off the bat, but definitely limit. Because the people that I help, I make extremely clear, like we take a big chunk, a big chunk of time realizing where they are distracting themselves with these social media, Netflix porn, and we make a a whole fucking plan to stop doing it to ease your way off of it and to find the same type of rewards that you get from these sources from things that aren't so high in dopamine but give you that lasting fucking fulfilling grounded feeling so the three main reasons why you cannot overcome stuttering if you're addicted to your phone, Netflix, porn, all of this shit. Because number one, you must, like, in order to overcome stuttering, you must release the stored tension inside your body. That's why you stutter in the first place. It's not because you forgot how to speak. We already know how to fucking speak. But it's the stored tension in your body, such like anxiety, fear, anger doubt all of this shit that over time we have repressed we must be able to process and feel in order to release this tension from the body and feel more loose and feel more grounded and feel more present but the thing is how this tension gets stored inside of us 
is through distracting ourselves when we're feeling these sensations. And if every time you feel anxiety, every time you feel doubt, every time you feel a sensation that you have chalked up to a sensation that is negative, that you don't want to feel, and then you go to porn, and then you go to Netflix, then you go to distract yourself, then you go scrolling on TikTok, you are only repressing these emotions down deeper, causing more tension because the amount of work it takes for your body to keep these repressed emotions down is a lot. And a lot of your bandwidth that you'll have is gonna be going into holding these emotions down, not to being present. And you will continue to stutter and stutter and stutter and feel a lot of fucking pain when you stutter until you're able to be present in the conversation present in the fucking conversation and if you're continuing to distract yourself distract yourself by netflix and all and everything i mentioned you are not going to give yourself the opportunity to actually feel these emotions that are trapped inside of you and process through them that's the first reason why you cannot overcome your stutter if you're addic- if you're addicted to this shit. Number 2 is the do- is the dopamine spikes. The amount of dopamine, the amount of unnatural fucking dopamine you get from porn, from social media, all of this shit just lights your fucking brain up. It sets your brain on fire. If there is a a, a scanner on your brain when you're watching Netflix when you're watching porn you would see it just lit up lit up and if you go to a conversation like a one-on-one interaction with someone after that and you scanned your brain again you would see it fucking dead you would see it like barely lit up at all and that's because when you have such an extraordinary amount of dope extraordinary amount of stimulus in the brain that is unnatural, that comes from some an, ex, an external source such as Netflix porn and all this shit, we are gonna be seeking that. We're gonna continue seeking that. And a conversation does not light our brain up the same way that does, at least an everyday conversation. It does not light up our, our brain the same way all those distracting activities do. So when you're in that state of speaking to somebody and you're not what the fuck is that thing so when you're in a conversation speaking to somebody and you're not and your your brain's seeking a higher level of dopamine how can you be present how can you enjoy how can you be fulfilled how can you desire conversations you won't you'll want something more you'll think you're being awkward because you're not inspiring such a grand um scene you, you will want more from the other person. You will want more um, stimulus to the brain. And again, when you're not getting that in the conversation, you will be so in your head. You won't be able to be present speaking to the person. And in order to overcome your fucking stutter, you must be able to create new experiences when you're present in the conversation, when you're enjoying conversation, when you're actually fucking connecting with another human being. And if you keep on going on your phone for hours a day, distracting yourself and getting yourself fucking juiced, juiced up on dopamine, you will not be able to create those new, ex, those new present experiences. And the third thing is stagnation and comparison. And I'm gonna group these two together. When you're watching porn and all this shit, you're not taking action, right? You're, you're not taking action, so you're going to be stagnated. And what's even worse, when in combination with stagnation, is the comparison you'll be doing. You're going to be comparing yourself to the best looking people on this planet. You're going to be comparing yourself to the best speakers on this planet. These are the people that get attention on YouTube, on TV shows. You're going to be comparing yourself to a fucking average that is out of this world. And you will, you will connect your own um, desirability or your own, um, yeah, des- I think desirability is the best word for that. 
you'll connect that with these people you've been seeing. And when you're in a negative state and your brain is lit the fuck up, you're going to be on you'd be in such a negative state comparing yourself to other people thinking that's the truth but if you were out in public and you saw how the average person spoke and you saw how the average person looked and you saw the how the average person moved in this world it would not be like the movies it would not be like porn it would not like it's so fucking toxic the way you compare yourself to these things that you're comparing yourself to the best in the fucking world the best in 8 billion fucking people that's insane that's insane so it's the stagnation you're in it's the comparison that you're constantly doubting yourself after you're on social media after you watch a movie after you're just binging something and escaping from your emotions you will not give yourself the ability to actually feel what you need to feel to let go of the tension and your dopamine recept your your dopamine receptors are going to be so fucked up you will not be able to feel pleasure from an ordinary conversation you cannot overcome stuttering in that mentality you simply cannot so i wanted to share this because this is something i had to learn to overcome my stutter and every single fucking one of my clients had to do they had to go into monk mode where they're either in a dopamine detox or they're just limiting the fuck out of their escape routes where they're creating new experiences because they're in a new mindset and they're not distracting themselves from how they're truly fucking feeling. So I hope that inspires you to do something. Maybe that's watch more of my content so all of this pieces together or go look up dopamine detox dopamine detox benefits and see how that would actually benefit your life just do something don't don't end this video and go look at another video about useless shit do do something actually beneficial to, for you right now because you're either growing or you're either dying we're just we're just like plants we're never we're never in one place we're either growing or we're either dying and the and the next step you take right now is going to determine if you're growing and if you're overcoming your stutter or if you're feeding the repressive hidden version of you what if you want to show up for a girl what if you run run into a girl a girl right after watching this would you rather been in a growth state or a repressive state what if you run into a boy what if, what if the fucking your old best friend just knocks on your door in five minutes and says yo it's been so long let's catch up would you rather be in a repressive state or a growth state always be ready to show up always be ready to show up always be showing up so no matter what comes into your life you can handle it you're in a good state to handle it. You're good. You're in a good mental fucking state to handle that shit. All right. I love you. And if you want to overcome stuttering the authentic way, you don't want just the bits and pieces of knowledge that I'm sharing here, but you want to work with me one on one and address this shit authentically. Then look at the closest link down below in the description and you can book a free one on one call with me and we'll see if we would be a good fit to work together. All right, I love you and hopefully see you there.